Hi, I'm Kimberly Ware. I'm just going to um, tell you a little bit about some vendor events and some tips and ideas and what they're all about. Um, first things first, I would go with your one hand done and then one hand blank because you're going to have some ladies that have their fancy manicures from the salon. You'd be like, oh, I just got my nails done. And they're not going to want you to put a toozy on them. So you, But you have to actually show them they need to see the magic, even if it isn't on them. So you want to have some empty nails to show them how it works. Um, when it comes to passing out toozies, don't pass out toozies. <laughs> you want to put the toozy on them or on you. And after you put it on you and they seen it, if they didn't want it on them, then you can give them a toozy to go home with. But do not just be like, hey, here's a toozy and my business card. Thanks for trying it because they're not going to try it and they're not going to know what to do with it. And then they're going to go home and it's going to be in their wallet or their purse or their bag or it's going to get in the trash. It's going to be sitting on the counter and getting dusty because they're not going to know what to do with it if you don't show them physically. We have a girl on our team that was given a toozy like this and she didn't know what to do with it. She went to a different vendor event and a girl on our team put the toozy on them and now she has signed up with that girl and she's on our team and she's great. So don't just pass them out because you're giving away product that people aren't going to probably try and they're not going to contact you about it. You're just wasting money. So don't do that. Um, put it on. Show them. You always want to have a raffle and um, we have these in our infographics album. Um, this actually has people's info on it. But just one of the simple little um, forms. Um, it's specifically tell people don't expect someone to read a sign and just that they're going to enter in the, the drawing all by themselves. Say, I'm doing a drawing for this, this, and this. Enter in and give them your little clipboard with your little papers and they'll usually do it. And then you have all their contact info. And then if, um, obviously you're gonna draw the actual winner, but then you also can send out an email or a text um, after the event and say, hey, thanks for um, uh, signing up, like for, thanks for entering my giveaway. Um, in case you bought some product yesterday, here's an application video just in case and a link to my VIP page. So you can be plugged in to my other giveaways and special offers I have going on there. And then you're going to be building your VIP page with customers that met you. And you do it quickly so they remember who you are. They remember your product. And if they did buy product with you, then they have the application video. And if they didn't, then they have the application video that they'll probably be curious about and check out. And who knows what that could lead to. So, And then you can also, you know, depending on how you don't want to do everything at once, but if you get a response or if you get a, hey, thanks, da, 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 then you can say, you know, let me know if you'd ever want to host a party so you can get some for free sort of deal. And then vendor events as a whole, don't freak out if you don't sell a ton of Color Street. Um, vendor events are sometimes just as much about getting your name out there as they are about selling your product. Um, and making contacts and getting contacts and building um, a base. So don't worry if um, that is something that happens to where you don't sell a ton. Some vendor events, you may sell a ton of color street, you may sell out. So it really depends on the vendor event and the foot traffic and the history of the event and who's there. So they can really vary. I'm just telling you, don't get um, down if it wasn't what you were thinking, if you were thinking you want to sell all your product. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. And if you don't, you just have to take this and keep it as a very important piece of your business you added to. Um, you can <clears throat> offer little coupons. Um, I did a $5 off your next order, but they have to send me a message or email me. So I'm making them contact me. So it is <clears throat> building that contact basis relationship. Um, that's it. Just wanted to give you a little rundown on how it could be this way and could be that way and to actually put the twosie on them. Bye.